It is quite literally 6.30 in the morning. It's crazy how just a little bit of mascara can make you just feel so much more awake. Like, don't I look like I can have a full conversation right now? Girl, I got new leggings. Super cute. Hey girl, do I have it all together? Girl, boss. There is something going on with my eyebrows, but we're not going to talk about it, okay? Because if we talk about it, I will cry. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. It has officially been one week since I got stood up. Man, this is gonna be the last time I talk about it, okay? But I also just need to mention that the reason why I got so emotional, the reason I got so emotional in the I got stood up video is because mentally I was prepared to go on a date. Like I was mentally prepared, I was ready for it. And then it got canceled and I was just like, maybe I wasn't ready, like, you know? I was just thinking to myself, I hyped myself up so much, like I was actually ready and prepared to like go out into the world and like meet someone. And not gonna lie, that kind of knocked down my self-confidence just a little bit. But we are prevailing, we are stepping up, okay? We're stepping up to bat. Because honestly, it is scary, like on both ends. It's kind of scary and it's kind of awkward. So for example, I'm talking to this new man, this new dude, man, person, being human of the male species. And whenever we message each other, it's like paragraphs, babe, like long, huge paragraphs. And we're just like chatting it up, you know, about everything, like everything, life. He works a lot and so do I. Y'all, this guy is super sweet. We're really hitting it off. However, I am so nervous to eventually meet this person because we're hitting it off so well. And then it's like, what if we don't in person, you know? But I guess we're just gonna have to like get over that. Like we're just gonna have to cross that hill when it arises. Today my sister and I were going to Forever 21 because she wants to get a top. We actually went shopping at Ross yesterday and I got some cute new leggings. I wore a new pair this morning as you guys saw and so she wants to get like a, a bandeau style top. What's it called? She wants to get one of those tops that go like that. <laughs> you know. You know. You understand. You understand. Because it's just the girlies. I love it. It's literally just the girls here. That's why I literally love you guys. Like, literally. Like, oh my gosh. I can think about you guys all the time. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Stop being weird, Nat. 
You guys remember like a couple videos ago where I was talking about how sometimes men on dating apps make it so hard to like talk? Meanwhile, on their on all of their profiles, they're like good communication, someone who's honest, good communication. And it's like, girl, y'all, sometimes talking to these men is harder than pulling out a dry tampon. That's why I don't even respond to many. I love my little ears. Sir, sir. And I've also noticed that it's like a trend to like show whatever they've caught. Like if they're fishing, they're like, I could feed the family. However, I don't like seafood. And it's like, babe, I know not all men are the same. However, men want a woman that can make them laugh. But yet, men are like, women aren't funny. <laughs> but yet, all these men are like, I want someone who can make me laugh. Someone to make me giggle and chuckle. You want a woman or you want a clown, babe? Because I can be both. <laughs> Just kidding. Golly. Golly gosh. Gee whiz. If you are a man right now watching this and you're thinking about going on a dating app, have a woman who is in your life, your mom, your sister, your cousin, your second cousin, someone, let them be with you when you're setting up your profile. Okay? Because these should not be on there. My self-care routine is running at 3 a.m. 3 a.m.? Who are you running from? Who are you running from? It's 3 a.m. They're just... <sighs> like, running? Sir, I take pride in everything I do. That just means he's gonna take pride in cheating on you. Girl. <laughs> Let's chat about anything <laughs> that gives us nothing to go off and i don't know why but men on the dating apps have a gorilla grip choke hold on the question as to whether pineapple belongs on pizza or not let it go babe it's been a decades long debate it is time to let it rest but on the topic do you guys like pineapple on pizza I mean, I gotta give them credit for trying. Like, you know, they're trying. They're putting themselves out there, but it's also so hard to weasel out the people who actually wanna be in a relationship, like who are actually looking for a lifelong partner. I look at my parents, my parents have been married for 30 years. Like, they go on dates still. My dad makes my mom laugh every single day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't hear my mom laughing. and. You know, like, it's, that's just like something I want. And I know that God is the one who, you know, ultimately places, you know, that one person who's gonna be in my life. God bless all the people right now who are in good, committed relationships. All those people who are married because it is a bloodbath out here. Big ups to the people in relationships you guys are winning <laughs> and it's like i've been girl bossing like i can girl boss all the way to the next universe if i wanted to so yeah guys this guy that i'm talking to he is so sweet he is so smart i'm not gonna get too excited about it because we're just gonna see how it goes we haven't met in person yet obviously if we were going to meet in person i would have told you guys we still haven't talked on the phone so i don't know what his voice sounds like so yeah, guys, I've just been kind of stressed out about that. And also, I'm getting my results for my love, my love, my blood work. Also, I'm getting my results for my blood work today, so I'm kind of stressed and like worried about that. But, you know, life happens when you're trying to understand. We're just, we're vibing, we're chilling, we're taking everything one second at a time. Makeup done. Babes, I'm literally about to go to the shops. 
you guys i um i'm here in the parking lot at forever 21 but i just got off the call with my doctor and sis said girl you're lacking vitamin d and you're lacking vitamin b12 so i'm gonna have to get on that all right Y'all, I just got off a call with my doctor and she was like, so how's your so how's your diet? How's everything going? And I'm like, it's been going good. I've been eating a lot of chicken and like rice and stuff. And then she's like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying to eat more greens, like more salads and stuff. Meanwhile, the first thing that I think of when I come inside the store is how I want hot fries. Tell me, someone tell me why I think this is cute. This is kind of cute, is it not? It's like fluffy. Maybe I need a shirt. I just realized that I'm wearing a Forever 21 shirt. I want a white brassiere, <laughs> but I want a good quality white bra. You know what I'm saying? Like a good quality. Oh, this is kind of cute. But she's doing too much, you know? Is she going to brunch or is she going to the gym? Like she's good in theory, you know what I'm saying? And this is definitely a workout shirt because it has a workout logo. No. Nar, you're lying. Who would do this to her? Y'all, that's why it's so hard trying on black when you have deodorant on. I mean, you put deodorant on, like that's all that matters. But like, girl, no, she's all over the shirt and you didn't even buy her. Okay guys, but seriously though, if you guys are trying on a black shirt at home and you put her on and then all of a sudden you have a deodorant stain, if you get, a dryer sheet like one of those little sheets that you throw in the dryer if you grab one of those and then just rub it this the deodorant stain will come off but on wrestling match me personally I'm more of an athleisure type of girl but you guys know it's because I'm on a weight loss journey and all the stuff that I have right now are leggings because that's what's always gonna fit I remember during back to school season, I would always like cringe, not cringe. I would always get so anxious coming to the denim section because I knew that I was gonna have to try on jeans. And I remember feeling so nervous about trying on jeans just because sometimes I would have to get a bigger size. And yeah, you guys know, the girlies get it. I wanna be a skirt girl so bad. But my butt donk, <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't want to. Like just by looking at these heels, you know they're not comfortable, but look at how cute they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. This almost feels like a towel. You guys, I got my bear headband here at Forever 21. There's literally so many. Y'all, this bandana says for us to wear it as a top. Who are you talking to? Can you guys imagine me wearing a scarf as a shirt? Hey guys. <laughs> my my biddies say no. <laughs> Tell me not to. Tell me not to. You're kidding. You're kidding. Someone tell me no. I didn't hear you. Really though, she's so cute in theory. In theory. But where else would I wear her? You know what I'm saying? I am going to have to get a purse soon because I'm using my mom's old one. Okay? And one thing you guys need to know about me is I'm a purse girl. Okay? I love purses. What's one fact about Natalie? She loves purses. You guys want to know what one of my weaknesses is? <laughs> you guys want to know what one of my weaknesses is? Okay, so I am insecure, right? I'm insecure about my body. That's why I always wear like jackets and stuff. Whenever it comes down to me searching for a dress, I always gravitate towards the bodycon dresses, even though I'm insecure about my body. I just don't understand how my mind wants to work. So then I'll buy the bodycon dress and then I'll wear a jean jacket with it and then I'll possibly never ever wear that dress again. It's, it's just, I wanna be a bodycon dress girl so bad. If you guys are wondering why I'm just talking to myself inside this Forever 21, 
It's because my sister actually had a very successful shopping day. And so she's trying on all the cool and cute clothes that she found. And I am keeping you guys company. Alright? We're having some quality time here. Just me and you. Are you having fun? You know who I don't trust? I don't trust Jason Drew. Because it appeared that him and Jenna had a really good relationship and then all of a sudden Jenna gives birth to her baby that she named after Jason and now he doesn't want to be a part mm -mm. Sir. Sir, get your life together. There is more to life. And that's my hot take. Is this a tennis dress? Sort of like the ones that you can find at Halara or Zara or what's it called? This is actually kind of cute. Hold on, I might try one of these on. No. Why did I get- I was so excited, y'all. All they have are literally smalls and extra smalls. Okay, those shoes are the moment. That is everything. Show me the shirts. <gasps> everything. Everything. That's gonna look so cute on you. That's gonna look so cute. Everyone, look at my sister. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. Catherine, you know a cool way to get rid of that deodorant stain? What? You get a dryer sheet and then you just rub it like that and it's gone. Wow. The queen. No me queda más. No me queda más. Wow, guys. Catherine is clocking my ass. She's like, POV, you're a YouTuber trying to get content. I'm not trying to get content. That's cute, but you have like a gajillion of those. I have one black. You have a gajillion. That's you have a good joke. We've traveled 500 feet to our next greatest destination. Dare someone say it was our next target? <laughs> I just think it's so funny that whenever Catherine can't find me, she goes, Hello? <laughs> and I have to be like, I'm over here! I'm over here! See, so we're currently in a dilemma. I told my sister that she could choose a snack, whatever snack she wanted. The thing is, she really wants a chocolate chip cookie, but they only have the chewy kind and they don't have the regular. So, you know what I reckon is very bizarre? Why would anyone want to eat blue chips? It just does not make sense to me. But then, at the same end of it, red isn't really a natural food color but yet we still consume them tomatoes are orange what <laughs> tomatoes are orange tomatoes are orange <laughs> you know what i really fancy eating hmm. pancakes for some weird no reason. reason no reason no way for some weird reason because i said that we should have breakfast for dinner you did say that and you were like no like, some people need to be careful out here. You can't be making loud noises at the shops. This is America. I need to know whether to duck or run. We're doing Target haul. All right, what'd you get? Catherine chose the mini Chips Ahoy's. Hot fries, one for me, one for my mom. And then Smart Sweets. Three grams of sugar. I don't know, they're probably lying. And then another Smart Sweets. This one is sort of like a Sour Patch Kid knockoff. I've had both of these before. They're super good. This is legit. This is for real.